Hey there, this is Gia. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the jobs app I have built. As a newly certified Salesforce admin, I will be applying for jobs and I have identified three different types, permanent cons uh, consulting and uh, contract jobs. Those are will be our record types. The purpose of the app is to simply track our uh, job leads and opportunities created. Before we create our record types, uh, which will be basically our jobs, permanent contract and recruiter, we have to create the lead process. Here are the three ones I created, consulting, contract, permanent. And I have, um, the, uh, after that, created the record types, which carry the same names, and I associated them with the, um, with the uh, lead process. Next, to address the needs of our um, of, of our record types, basically, I have created custom fields. Examples of 401k percentage match, which, which is a, per, a percent field uh, to address our permanent uh, job needs. Bonus percentage also uh, um, also address the permanent jobs, which is a percent field. Certification required which is a text uh, area data type company uh, that's being end company or recruiter company, which is a text. Further examples, uh, let's say salary minimum, salary maximum. One second certification required I've mentioned. Um, and uh, there, there are a few more, um, a few, a few more fields I have created. Next, we're going to simply um, go to um, lead page layouts, and I have renamed the uh, the the ones out of the box uh, with uh, the the names that match our record types. So here are the consulting link lead contract lead and permanent lead via page layout assignments i have assigned them to the appropriate record type just a second to load and here they are consulting contract and permanent next via enhanced page layout editor i have um, uh, made um, changes in the fields available in our different uh, that type of records. Here we are in the permanent, um, uh, permanent, and um, I have removed some of the fields we uh, don't need, and I have included the ones relevant to the permanent record type. For instance, salary minimum, sal salary maximum, bonus percentage, years experience, degree required. I have done the same for our consulting and contract uh, record types. Next, I have to address uh, the need of some additional uh, um, uh, adjustments in our uh, lead status. Here, uh, here in the lead object, pick list available for eating, we have uh, some, uh, some uh, pick list available, but to do the necessary adjustments, we have to go to the lead processes. Select uh, a sample lead process, for instance, this is the consulting one, and here are uh, some of the fields, uh, the, 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 the statuses I have added. Reference requested, reference sent for the consulting, and if I go to contract, for instance, I have different fields like uh, re uh, resume requested, resume sent. In order to test our uh, uh, our adjustments, we're simply going to create a new lead, and this one uh, is with consulting record type, with a contract record type, and we have the uh, the fields available which indicate that it's a, a contract record type, hourly rate, contract term in months. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.